oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve. To understand respiratory functions, it is extremely important to understand how oxygen gets attached to hemoglobin in blood within lungs and how it detaches from hemoglobin in tissues. There is a partial pressure of oxygen in alveoli of lungs, so the oxygen is exerting some pressure on the walls of the alveoli. And as a result of that pressure, oxygen enters into the pulmonary vascular bed, the blood vessels that surround the alveoli. Partial pressure of oxygen in plasma here will increase with the partial pressure of oxygen in alveoli. The partial pressure of oxygen in plasma here is directly proportional to the partial pressure of oxygen in alveoli. Partial pressure of oxygen in plasma is responsible for the attachment of oxygen molecules to the hemoglobin, means oxygen saturation. Oxygen saturation will increase with the increase in partial pressure of oxygen in plasma or will decrease with the decrease in partial pressure of oxygen in plasma but it is not directly proportional. So these two pressures are directly proportional but uh, the partial pressure of oxygen in plasma although will increase uh, the oxygen saturation but these two factors are not directly proportional. So this is another representation. The increase in partial pressure of oxygen in alveoli will increase the partial pressure of oxygen in plasma by the same proportion. Uh, the increase in partial pressure of oxygen in plasma will increase the oxygen saturation. Uh, but these two factors are not directly proportional. Graphical representation, partial pressure of oxygen in alveoli increasing in this direction and the partial pressure of oxygen as you increase this, partial pressure of oxygen in, in plasma will increase. And as you can see this is the straight line means uh, the both factors are directly proportional. Notice there is a gap here. It means that the partial pressure of oxygen in alveoli will always be higher than the partial pressure of oxygen in plasma. And this gap can increase uh, depending upon the age, certain lung conditions and certain other factors. Partial pressure of oxygen decreases as the blood passes through the body. It will be highest in alveoli it will be lower in pulmonary capillaries, even lower in arterial branches, even lower in tissue capillaries, even lower in cells, even lower in mitochondria of cells where the oxygen is consumed to produce energy. So there is a gradient, the pressure gradually moves down. Now this is the curve which is known as oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve and you will be asked to reproduce this curve or to explain it no matter what level of medicine you are studying. You will also need to remember what is meant by right or left shift of the curve and what difference does it make and what does it mean. At this point in time pay attention to this blue curve and to these two green arrows. At a pressure higher than 20 mm of mercury, the affinity of oxygen towards hemoglobin or in simple words attraction of oxygen molecules towards hemoglobin increases sharply. Rem uh, remember the normal arterial partial pressure of oxygen is between 70 to 100. Uh, this is a very subjective range, uh, means the, the values will change uh, according to age, according to certain other conditions, but assume that the person is uh, less than 60 years of age and they are living at the sea level and it uh, the normal range for them will be between 70 to 100 millimeter of mercury. And notice at this partial pressure of oxygen, the oxygen saturation is well above 90%, uh, which is the normal oxygen saturation. It should always be above 90%. 92%, it should be above 92%.
to summarize this curve can be read from top to bottom or bottom uh, to top and it is showing several important things number one that the oxygen saturation although increases with the increase in partial pressure of oxygen but it is not directly proportional it's a curve rather than a straight line it rapidly increases with the partial with the increase in partial pressure of oxygen but at a certain stage it becomes impossible for uh, hemoglobin to attach uh, any more oxygen molecules means the saturation is to its full or nearly full means around 100 percent according to this curve the saturation will uh, be nearly 100 percent in areas where partial pressure of oxygen is high such as in pulmonary capillaries of lungs means the hemoglobin will bind to as much oxygen molecules as it can the lower part of the curve is showing dissociation it means that the chances of oxygen detaching from hemoglobin will increase if the partial pressure of oxygen is low for example in muscles that are working very heavily so the oxygen will be detached from hemoglobin and will be taken by the cells in that area in a number of conditions the curve will either shift to left or to right if it moves to left it means it will become even uh, it will become more difficult for oxygen to detach itself from hemoglobin tissues at the same time it will become easier for the oxygen molecules to attach to hemoglobin uh, even at lower partial pressures to get the higher oxygen saturation if it moves to right it will become more difficult for blood to saturate with oxygen and the blood will be needing higher partial pressures to uh, achieve the normal saturation and at the same time it will become easier for oxygen to detach from hemoglobin in uh, tissues it will de detach uh, even at lower uh, partial pressures even at higher partial pressures the video is prepared for academyprofessionals.com and these are the references thank you very much